So I've been laughing on video, so I'm going to make some quick quotes. Um, this is a horse, hi buddy, who um, is a little barn sour, a little buddy sour, but he also doesn't like ropes going over his head. So let's get two things done at the same time. So he didn't like the ropes, right? So where am I going to do the ropes? I'm going to do it in a stall where he wants to go to his stall. So before I take him out, not everybody thinks it's funny, but I think it's funny. He doesn't like this stuff, so how do you get him over it? You just keep doing it over and over again. And since he um, wants to be in here, I'm gonna make, oh, when I come into your, when you're with me, if you come into your stall, this is not such a fun place to be, but I also gotta get him over this thing with his head because um, nobody's worked on it, right? People throw the reins over your head and then they just forget about it. And so now, I forget, you're like 14? And you're still not over this. So let's do these not so fun things in your stall, right? So I try to help him with it. Good boy. So the more thousands of times I do this will help him. But see, if he just does that and then I don't throw it over his head, he's never going to get over it. So how did he not like this? Somebody probably smacked him in the head or something. And so we just gotta realize it's not hurting you, so it's okay. So, and if I do it first, he probably won't wanna come back in his stall with me, right? And that's the whole point. It's okay if he wants to go back to his stall, everybody wants to go back to their stall, but not when um, I'm riding him. And that's when I don't want him to go back to his stall. So I'm trying to make sure you can see me. So he really doesn't like it. Well, I guess I did so many times it's not so bad. Good job, right? But he didn't like it so much on this stall. And, you know, since he's so well skated, he's probably in a training barn or a show barn because somebody worked on his skates. So some of those people are nice and some of them are not so nice, right? So you're a nice guy, but we don't know if they were nice or not, right? So lots of them have um, problems, right? So you think, oh, well, they're so well gated, that's great. But it doesn't mean that they don't come with issues. So I don't mind that you have issues. It's nicer that you have nice gates. We don't have to work on that because that's much harder than throwing a rope over your head, right? I don't have to do thousands of pulls because you were pacey. I don't have to do weird things because you were trotty. So boy, I just have to do weird things because you don't like this. And then new mommy probably gave you lots of time off when she pooped because she was scrawny. And that's how they get barn and buddy sour, right? Because who wants to leave when there's all sorts of food and good things. But each horse has their different um, problems in their hole. And most of the people skip those holes. They don't want to work on it. They don't tie up or their problem with their head or with their ear. And so we just skip along and don't do anything, huh? So he doesn't like it thrown over him. So I got to get him used to it. So I do have to throw it over him. And sometimes I'll have to hit him in the head by accident as he gets used to it so it's not a big deal. It's just like sooner or later when you go through a gate, the gate's going to hit him in the butt. So what are you going to do? You're going to have to hit him in the butt with the gate so they get used to it. Because um, if you don't, that day you're on them and it hits them in the butt, they're going to freak out. Oh, so boom. See? So, so he's got to do this with me, but he's got to do this with his new owner as well, because he might get over it like, you know, I spend so much time with these guys. So then they go, oh, I trust you. I know you're not gonna hurt me. You did it a million times and I was just fine. But that doesn't mean they're gonna do it with their owner. If their owner's rough or they don't trust their owner. So everybody's gotta build some trust with their horse, just like people, right? We don't always trust everybody. I trust you guys, but I don't always trust people. So you gotta have enough 
time with them that they trust you. So I'm going to do this now, and you know another good time I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to show you because you get bored of me throwing the rope over his head, is um, I'm going to do it when I bring them back to the stall, right? Because they all want to go back to their stall after we ride them, right? That's usually when they're more barn sour. They might be barn sour going out. They might be barn sour coming back. So I found, oh, this weird problem that you have. So this is going to make me do it when I come to see you. And it's going to make me do it when I put you back. And then we're just going to have lots of fun. See that? We're whacking in the head. But he didn't die. Right? He didn't have a heart attack. Good job. So he might not need the, the other desensitizing, you know, with the ropes around his body. I've done that stuff and the umbrella and all those things. He didn't seem to care. But he just needs this and lots of love. And I just can't help kissing them, so they have to get desensitized.